Hello YouTube! My name is Clement Sagas, aka Cool Dude Clem, and today I'm going to show you the difference in the quality of AC bias and DC bias. Now a lot of you watching this are probably thinking, oh not another bias video, but in all the ones I've seen it's never been too clear, so I'm going to give you a clear demonstration of how much AC bias sounds better than DC bias. Now I'll just get a tape recorder here. Now this is a Sony TCM150 tape recorder. It's a Walkman size. It takes ordinary tapes. And I have one here ready to record on. So we'll just put it in. And I'm going to record on it to show you the quality. I uh, can't really get back enough from the camera here. I'll just reposition the camera. Okay. The camera's in a better position now. And I'm going to record on this little tape recorder. Okay, this is Clement Sagas recording on the Sony TCM150. This is DC bias. And I'm doing this to demonstrate the sound quality. Now we'll just run that back. This is Clement Sagas recording on the Sony TCM150. This is DC bias, and I'm doing this to demonstrate the sound quality. Okay, now that sounds pretty clear, but I'm now going to record myself on a tape recorder that has AC bias, and you'll hear the difference in the sound when I play it back. Now this is the tape recorder that I'll be recording on. This is one I've modified, but I haven't made any modifications to the recording circuits. All I've done is I've tapped the main supply, so I've got power to my shaver. And running off the 8 volt positive rail, as you can see here, it goes to this lead here. And on the other end of that, I have this microphone which I have also modified by putting a two transistor preamp in it and that is connected to the tape recorder which I'm going to record on and all this stuff is here this, in this box and this switch they're just speed controls which I've added I've had to change the motor so I can use the speed control I don't know if you can see it in there very clearly that's the motor from a dual deck tape recorder with high speed dubbing which is needed so I can use the speed control so <clears throat> now I'm going to record onto that tape recorder to show you the quality I'm now about to start recording on the Denon DRM 600 so I started recording it's now recording this is Clement Seggers recording on the Denim DRM 600, which is AC bias, to demonstrate the much better sound quality. End of recording. I am now about to play the recordings I made to show you the difference in the quality between AC bias and DC bias. The tape's right in position, and I'm going to put the camera right up close to the speaker. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it very clearly with the computer noise in the background. The camera's right up close to the speaker, so I can give you a demonstration of the difference in the sound quality. First we have the, a the DC bias recording, and then the AC bias recording. Just come on any minute now. Okay, this is Clement Sagas recording on the Sony TCM150. This is DC bias, and I'm doing this to demonstrate the sound quality. It's now recording. This is Clement Sagas recording on the Denim DRM600, which is AC bias, to demonstrate the much better sound quality. And there you go. 
There's the difference between DC bias and AC bias recording quality. I don't know how well you heard it, so I'm going to connect my tape recorder up to the computer, which is recording this, so you can hear for yourself exactly how much better the quality of AC bias is than DC bias. Okay, this is Clement Saggers, recording on the Sony TCM150. This is DC bias, and I'm doing this to demonstrate the sound quality. It's now recording. This is Clement Saggers, recording on the Denon DRM600, which is AC bias, to demonstrate the much better sound quality. End of recording. Tape recorder, but anyway, stop shaking me.